Hi, my name is Adam Avrilla and welcome back to the Design Studio. As you see, we have a special guest today. Her name is Susie. She is one of my dearest friends and my sister-in-law. Say hi to all of our people Hello, out watching everyone. us. Thanks for watching. Susie does not have much knowledge on floral design and that fits perfectly with this month's Flowers What's Next video. This is all about designing with friends. Get your friends together, pick up one of these beautiful bouquets at a Southern California store and you can create this amazing design. For this beautiful arrangement, we're going to use this wood rectangle and it is 12 inches long, 4 inches wide, 4 inches tall. Something similar to this would be okay. And we are going to be using Oasis Floral Foam. So some tricks for this. Use a serrated knife. You don't even have to go back and forth. You just bring it down and it gives you that beautiful squeaking noise. And you save that because we'll need it and it fits perfectly in. But what we want to do, as of right now, it would fit flush. I want it to go down like that, so let's take a little bit more off the top. And do you see how now it's below the lip and it holds the space? These little pieces we won't save. We'll just throw those away. And then you have the leftover and let's cut a piece that'll fit right in. So now we know the size that we need. Whatever you do, do not just push it down with your hands. Don't force it. We want it to be natural. We don't want to force anything. So now soaking it. The proper way is to just take this and let it sit on water and it'll bring itself down to the level it needs to be. If you were to push this directly down into the water, what it's gonna do is it's not gonna absorb water, so this is the right way to do it. So much to think about when you do the foam. It's sinking, it will sink. It takes a minute, but it'll sink. So our Oasis is in, it's all nice and black. By the way, this comes in green as well. We use black a lot because the black kind of fades away, and you'll see that in future months. We're all ready, our foam is soaked, it's in our containers. Now it's time to design. So I will give you the clippers because I know you do not do well with a knife. So you can have these. Just don't cut yourself. Be safe. We're going to start with our roses. You start with the middle highest point first. Take off all the foliage. It's a beautiful apricot rose. So what you're going to want to do is when you're at home, hold it up to here so you get an idea of how much you want to cut off. You want it to be about there. Not too much. Oh, too much. That's a perfect size right there. If you do cut it off too much, you could always use it for a shorter one, but that's perfect. So then put it into the center and make sure it's going vertical up. And something I want to show you guys, my rose is perfectly vertical, where Susie's rose has a little bit of an angle coming out. That's what we call the face of the flower. So just pay attention to that when you design and we'll point it out. So take your another one, go a little bit shorter than this one was to about here. A little bit more. That should be good. And let's put it next to that one going up. Perfect. So what you're going to want to do is make sure it goes vertically up. The thing with flowers is like their stems curve sometimes. So you just want to make sure that it goes right on up. And one more rose. She's very serious, but it doesn't have to be this serious. If you all are at home, have a couple of cocktails before you do it. <laughs> and this is going to go shorter and this is going to go to the other side, work right here. Let's see how short that is. We can go a little bit shorter than that. Because what you want to do is you want to stair step them. 
And vertically up. Yep. So now you could see that this one probably should be moved over a little bit. So the foam is, foam is forgiving, so it can go like that. Perfect. All right, not bad, right? Not at all. It's beautiful already. Yeah, done. We can go home. <laughs> Next, we're going to take our green trick. And what did you say these remind you of? Dr. Seuss. Yeah, like so Dr. <laughs> Seuss. So when we were prepping for it, I was telling Susie that this is actually a carnation, which most people don't realize. But it's so cool, and it's one of the longest lasting flowers there is actually. So we grouped up the roses. Let's group up the green trick, and they're going to go right here. And it's going to go a little bit lower than the top rose. Yep, off to the side. Perfect. Let's make sure we angle up. Like there's good. Perfect. And then the next one, it's the same concept. Size is going down. And it's all about stair stepping down into the arrangement. So this would be a fun night with your girlfriends, right? Absolutely. Or guy friends, whoever. Let's bring this a little bit more. You're gonna want it to almost touch the edge of the container. So you're gonna have to cut a little bit more of that off. Yeah, probably up to here. Perfect. You see, it's starting to fill itself in. Next, let's take our carnations, mini carnations, these beautiful peach carnations. So what we're gonna do is when you have something that is too long like this, you're gonna wanna cut it where you have two pieces. So you can cut it right about here. Well, that broke anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll show you on the next one. So this goes opposite side. And the trick is, is we want to keep this movement. We want to keep this going down. Perfect. So take another stem and it is the same thing. Let's just keep it going. So what I was showing you was when you have a stem like this, where you're going to, you can cut this part. So now you have two pieces. So make sure you send us what you're designing at home. Next, who knows, you can be on one of these videos with me one day. Send me what you're doing. I want to see what's happening out there with everybody. So this one I know you're gonna have to cut a little bit shorter because you already have your height. So if you cut it like this, and do you see how this has that movement already? Mm -hmm. That's perfect to bring it kind of out past. And then, do you have more? Yeah, you have plenty more. So you always have flowers at home, don't you? Yes, because I have the best brother-in-law ever. <laughs> so that's what you need to do. Get somebody who's close to you who's in our floral world, you will have flowers at your house all the time. And let's put it, that final bloom right here. And it could be a little bit shorter. This is like those paint, wine and sip classes. Nothing's exactly the same. It's your interpretation of what we're doing. So it does not have to be exact. Next, we're going to use our green mums. So these, what we're gonna wanna do is you wanna create a path within the flowers. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna cut these off short like this. And these will go flush to the bottom of the container. And they can be short. And what this does is that you'll notice it'll start to cover up the foam. Perfect. So as you see, it's already creating this beautiful pathway. And that creates movement within your design. So that way, it's not all about what's happening on top. People will want to look and see what's going on down below. So you've lost a little movement as I'm saying this. <laughs> Take this one. And if you just put it like right there, do you see how this is coming like that? Oh, yes. It's so nice now. 
Next, we'll add the Ostromeria. The Ostromeria, we're gonna cut short to about right there. And this is gonna go on this side. And let's put one other on the opposing side. And if you have to turn your vessel, feel free to turn your vessel. And look, I wanted to give a trick to you guys. Let me just see this real quick, sorry. So, when you get these and they're long laterals like that, mm -hmm. lateral is the flower coming off, what you can do so you don't struggle with it, cut this off so you have all individual pieces, and then you could put these in by themselves and it'll be easier to push in. Nice. A little trick of the trade. These colors are beautiful together, aren't they? They're gorgeous. They're soft. They're romantic. Yeah, they're just very on trend. Everybody, it just makes you happy to see them. Beautiful. Look at that. So you're a designer. You don't know it. All of you are too. I'm so proud of myself right now. You should be. <laughs> Next, we're going to be using the thistle. So the thistle and the ruscus are our painted product, mm -hmm. but it's painted so well it almost looks natural. I thought it was natural. Yeah, so it's kind of great. So what you can do with this is cut these pieces off and then take it and cut the flower off of the stem, but save both pieces. Because this looks very much like the flower itself, and so it'll act like that. What we're going to do with this is we're just going to fill in the base of the container. So go ahead and put this all around. And it's going to be low, like the green palms. And this, we're not so much worried about the path. This is just going to fill in and bring that beautiful Wedgwood blue down to the base. So look how great this blue is. It adds to the design. It just pops so much. Gives it a different look. Like yeah, and it's a texture, and it's right? Now we're gonna add our ruscus. So this, cut a piece off and save yourself some bottom pieces. We do not throw nothing away. The bottom pieces, this piece here, you go ahead and just fill in the bottom a little bit more. And then we're gonna make a grouping with the ruscus. Beautiful. The same concept, go one a little bit taller. have the one short in front. Good job. See, it's easy, right? Easy peasy. You can do this easily. And if you had a glass of wine or a margarita, it'd be even better. Well done. Very beautiful. Thank you. And you could have, love to have this in your home. I would love to. It's so beautiful. I can't believe I did this. Of course you did. And all of you will do it. This is easy. You guys follow instructions. You can do this too. So thank you for joining us in our studio. Well, thanks for having me. We will have you again for sure. My pleasure. Make sure you click and like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. And we will see you next month.